Hi, it's Darno with Wave of Recipes. And today, I'm going to be grilling chicken breast in the Ninja Foodi Dual Heat Air Fry Oven. And we'll see how its sear plate does with some chicken breast right now. And so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the cooker turned on. And I'm going to hit that dual heat side and it's set for sear crisp. And I'm going to lower the temp since I'm dealing with chicken breast down to 400 degrees Fahrenheit even. And for cooking time, I'll just leave it at 30 minutes. I'm going to have my eye grill to tracking temp. I know it's not going to take 30 minutes, but we'll just leave it at that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. Let it start preheating. It gives me that nice display to let me know how far things are along with preheating. While things preheat, I'm going to use some extra light olive oil here along with some black pepper that I'll be cracking and some Old Bay seasoning. Going to get the chicken breast oiled and seasoned up. Alright, preheat's done. Just pausing, open up. Got three fresh boneless, skinless chicken breast halves here. I'm just going to track the one that's in the middle with the temperature probe. I'm only going to track one because I don't need to track all three. Close up there and going to go ahead and let things cook. Bring it back when it looks like they're done. I'm not going to do any flip of the chicken or anything of that sort. I'm just going to go ahead and just let them grill on that one side like that and we'll see what we get. Alright, so the chicken in just under 18 minutes hit 165. I'm just going to take it to 170 just because I like to go there. That's just my preference there. and I know all about carryover, but all the same, this is how I like to do it. So I'm just going to let them go a little bit further to 170, then I'm going to pull them out. But you can tell at about 18 minutes, you know, if you like 165, you can do that. I might, you know, I guess it might take about 20 minutes. I'll probably stop them in about 20 minutes and see where I'm at then, just to have an even 20 minute cook. So, they're looking pretty good though so far. So we just hit 170, just under 19 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and stop the cooker at this point. I'm going to go ahead and open things up. You can have a look at that. That's our finished chicken there. And the other two are so much smaller, I figure that they're definitely done. I'm just going to take my grilled chicken breast and put them on my cutting board here. Just let them rest for about five minutes, but you see things look pretty good. The underside there, you got a lot of good char and caramel, caramelization of the uh, underside there, so that looks pretty good. And we'll get this last one. You can see the underside there. It looks pretty good. It does a pretty good job. So I'm just going to let those rest, and then I'll bring you on back. So I gave things about five minutes to rest. Going to just turn things around here to the one that I'm going to cut open, which is the big one. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. You can see inside everything looks great. Well cooked, well done. Nice top side cook. Nice underside. Looks good. Looks real good and looks juicy. So I'm just going to cut a piece off here for a taste test. And we'll go ahead and do a taste test of this. So thank God for some tasty chicken breast. Well, we hope it's tasty, but let's find out now. Perfectly done. Perfectly done. The underside, nice char, got a little crisp on there. And you know the rest, moist, juicy, tasty. I mean, you couldn't ask for more with that. I mean, whatever you're gonna cook with this, you know, as far as your proteins, they're gonna turn out, they're gonna turn out nice. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy some proteins out of this for real. That dual side heating works out pretty good. So in the video description, I do want to mention that. You can find lots of ways to help this channel. You can also check out my blog, superwaveovenrecipes.com. And 
If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification icon, and good eating.